Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. I'm Chris and today's video we're doing my top five Christmas movies. This one was a little challenging because there's so many great ones out there and I had to narrow it down to just five. Um, but I think I did a good job. And as far as what I was looking for were movies that made me feel a certain way and it really came down to nostalgia. So these ones are my top five best of the best. Christmas movies. Maybe you guys have similar ones. Let me know in the comments below. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and let's get started. For me, number five. The movie that holds this spot for me is Christmas Vacation. And this one is probably the least of the movies that give me nostalgia. It did come out later on. I was already a teenager. It came out in 1989, but I had already watched the National Lampoon's series up until then and I really liked it. Chevy Chase is in this one with Randy Quaid and there's a different Russ in every one, which is comical. This one is a fun movie. It's a comedy. Uh, it exaggerates so many things with Christmas and family and there's so many unforgettable quotes from this movie that I still say to this day. I mean, if somebody asked me to say Grace, it's Grace, she died 30 years ago. Number four for me is Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, the one from the 60s. This is a movie that I have been watching ever since I was a little kid. It's probably the first Christmas movie I've ever seen. And I used to watch it every year around Christmas time. In fact, my mom used to say that when I was a little baby, I was afraid of the abominable snowman. I guess I used to hide behind the couch or whatever, but I grew to love the movie and I would watch it every year and it is near and dear to my heart. Although I haven't seen this one in quite some time, I should probably check it out again, but this one is in my number four spot, so check it out if you haven't seen it. Number three for me, and hold on, see if you can guess what it is by looking at my sweater. Go ahead and pause it and see if you got it right. Let me know in the comments below if you know it. You got it, Home Alone. So Home Alone is probably, I think, the movie on my list that is the newest. It came out in 1990, which is, I was 14 at the time, but it still gives me nostalgia and I'll tell you why. So this movie right here, I just love the atmosphere. I love how they film this because it really brings you into the family. And I, and I had a big family growing up. I didn't live in a house that big and nice, but I can relate to the chaos going on at the beginning of the movie with all his brothers and sisters and cousins and family, everybody there, just all chaos. And I can relate to that. Um, and then it goes into, as probably most of you already know, I don't want to spoil it for those that don't, but you know, the shenanigans, uh, all the things that Kevin does with the traps and all that stuff, it really spikes my, uh, my nostalgia later on when he goes to the church at the end of the night. The reason for this is because I grew up in a Catholic family. I grew up in a religious family and I always had to go to church and I hated it. I hated going to church. To me, that was the worst part of Christmas. To me, it was all about presents. And that's how I felt. I, I hated going to church. And um, as I got older, I stopped going to church altogether. But then after, as I got even older than that, I realized that it wasn't about the presents at least even for my nostalgia, it was about the feeling that I had when I would go to church with my parents and, and, and my grandma and, and my brothers and my sister, and, and I would hate it, but I would be in church and I remember it would be like cold and snowing outside and we'd have a nice atmosphere with the Christmas tree and the lights and I'd be with my family and like I thought I hated it. But I realized as I got older that that moment was a moment of nostalgia for me that I, I longed for. And when I see that part and the Christmas music playing in the big church where Kevin goes, I it brings me right back there. And that's why I love to watch this movie really close to Christmas every year. So that would be a huge one for me. And that's my number three movie. On to number two. This movie right here, I would say, this isn't really a, a nostalgia movie for me either, but this is a cool movie. I remember seeing, this is the first movie I've ever seen in the drive-thru, the drive-thru, the drive-in. I went to a drive-in in, in what, what, what year did that? I think this came out in 1983, 83 or 84. 
And this movie, a lot of people don't realize, is a Christmas movie. And to me, it's a Christmas movie. But yes, it's set in Christmas time, and it is Gremlins. I love Gremlins. It's one of my favorite movies. If you haven't seen Gremlins or you didn't realize it was a Christmas movie, go ahead and check it out because it is very much a Christmas movie. I think I remember in the drive-in, my mom said, oh, uh oh, Tom, to my dad, I, should we like uh, cover their eyes on this part? It was, it was a Santa part. We didn't know who Santa was at the time. So I guess that's kind of a nostalgic thing because I do I do remember being there. And, and I think it was 1983, 84 when, when, uh, when this came out. And another fun fact, the little town of where, the, where this is set with all the snow is the same exact town where Back to the Future, the town square is filmed. Back to the Future and Gremlins is the same set. And we're finally on to number one for me. Number one, I love this movie. I, I remember watching this when I was little with my dad. This movie I watch every year around Christmas time. Usually this is a movie that I like to watch on Christmas Eve. It's, it's a little bit of a longer movie. I think it's uh, over two hours long. It's the oldest movie on my list. It's black and white, and it is It's a Wonderful Life. If you guys have not seen this movie, I really recommend it. It's a great feel-good movie. Let me know what your list is. Let me know if your list is anything like mine. Let me know if you agree with my choices. I will say that I also, I couldn't put these ones on the list, but I do want to say some of the other movies that I really, really love, the Christmas movies that just I couldn't put on the list. It was only five, but uh, just some notable ones. I love the movie Emmett Otter's Jug Band Christmas. I also grew up on that one. I love Elf. I love Krampus. And I recently, um, you know, kind of fell in love with Christmas Chronicles too, part one and two. That is, it's, I think it's a great little uh, series there. I know there's a lot of other ones that I don't have on the list here. And I agree, there's a lot of other ones that are really good. But if you like the channel, go ahead and subscribe. I'm gonna be doing more of these top fives. And that's it. Go ahead, watch out for zombies. I'll see you guys in the next video.